Hello and welcome to the first day of school. Can everyone take a moment to share your name and where you're from? Hey guys, my name's Oscar and I'm from Los Angeles. Welcome, Oscar. Buongiorno, my name is a golden lion. I'm from Venice. Ooh, beautiful city. Oui, I am the Palme d'Or from Cannes. Love your accent. And uh, what about you? Where are you from? Uh, I am... The Taipei Film Award from Taipei! One. It's dark. You can't move. You can't breathe. Is this the end? Or is this just another day in your life as a filmmaker? Making films is hard, really hard. So similar to the golden person at the Oscars, or the golden lion at Venice Film Festival, Taipei Film Festival chose a golden butterfly as its logo. Because like a caterpillar in a cocoon, as long as you persevere at this near impossible feat, you too could become a butterfly, soaring to great heights with your new masterpiece. And where better to showcase your filmic virtuosity than the capital city of Taipei, where urban convenience meets cultural richness, all framed by majestic mountains, a perfect setting for your artistic dreams to take flight. Two. Like many great heroes, the Taipei Film Festival didn't always have the same name. Goodbye, Mr. Anderson. My name is Taipei Film Festival! The Taipei Film Festival was originally called the China Times Express Film Awards after the newspaper that started it in 1988. In 1994, it changed its name to the Taipei Film Awards, and two years later, the Taipei City government was like, wait a second, we should be a part of this too, and why not make it an international film festival? So, in 1998, the Taipei Film Awards became the Taipei Film Festival. Three. Do you recognize this line? It's from Grandma and Her Ghosts, a Taiwanese film that won Best Picture at the very first Taipei Film Festival in 1998. It went on to become an animation classic, and the Taipei Film Festival developed a reputation as a launch pad for successful films. Other successful films that premiered at Taipei Film Festival include Do Over from 2006, Boar's Boys from 2008, and Taiwan's biggest Mandarin box office hit ever, Case Number 7! This 2008 film won at Taipei Film Festival, then continued on to break the Mandarin language box office record, which it still holds to this day. Oh. Zhongshan Hall is a magnificent structure, nearly 100 years old, featuring lavish decor, unique historical art, and a foot washing basin! Like many festivals around the world, including Venice and Annecy, the Taipei Film Festival holds its ceremonies and screenings inside an old-timey landmark. Built in a Spanish Islamic style, Zhongshan Hall served as an important activity center during the Japanese colonial era in Taiwan. The massive hall can accommodate up to 1,122 people and has super cold AC! <laughs> Fun fact, did you know that movie theaters are almost always cold because they set the temperature based on all the seats being filled? Also, it's harder to doze off this way. Five. We live in an inspiring world, and the next big filmmaking talent could come from anywhere on Earth. That's why the Taipei Film Festival holds the International New Talent Competition, Taiwan's only international competition aimed at the debut and second feature films of new filmmakers. Many nominees of this award have gone on to become big-time filmmakers, including Academy Award-winning director Taika Waititi from New Zealand, Golden Bear winner Nadav Lapid from Israel, Silver Bear winner Marin Ade from Germany, and Khan Grand Prix winner Robin Campillo from France. Also, good news for boomers, the Taipei Film Festival changed this category from young talent to new talent. So as long as you have two films or fewer under your belt, you can apply, regardless of age. Six. Taiwan is making it rain! To nourish the local talent here, the Taipei Film Festival established the Taipei Film Award. Anyone with a Taiwanese passport or residence permit can apply. And the prize is one million dollars! You could buy a house! Oh, it's one million NT dollars. Uh, you could buy a pretty decent car! Either way, it's still the biggest film prize in Taiwan, and narrative features, documentaries, short films, and animations can all compete. Not bad for a starving artist. Seven. Teamwork makes the dream work, and this is especially true in the collaborative process of making films. That's why the Taipei Film Festival created the Outstanding Contribution Award, which can be given to any and all people related to the filmmaking journey. Past winners include Yan Zhengfa, a legendary figure known for his intricate hand-painted movie posters. He's been perfecting his craft for more than 50 years, and continues to paint at the age of 70, despite being partially blind. 
The Outstanding Contribution Award has also been given to Liu Zhenxiang, a stills photographer, and Jiang Taitun, a projectionist. You don't even have to be a person to win, since the Taipei Documentary Filmmakers Union received this award one year. Talk about diversity and inclusion. Eight. Mm. The Taipei Film Festival is one of Taiwan's marquee film events of the year. For more than 30 years, it has continued to foster creativity and international cooperation in the vibrant cultural capital of Taipei. This year's festival also continues the Top Talents Initiative, which takes a hand-picked group of Taiwan's most exceptional actors to be promoted to a global audience. The key visual for the 2024 festival is a swirling metallic butterfly, eliciting a vision of films with the weightiness of metal and the unique and non-replicable nature of a fluttering butterfly wing. Whether you're an aspiring filmmaker, seasoned professional, or just a lover of movies, be sure to catch this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness the magic of the Taipei Film Festival. Before it glides off into the sky. This video was sponsored by Taiwan Plus. Stay tuned to Taiwan Plus to see the premiere of this year's Top Talent series during the 2024 Taipei Film Festival.